there. If you watched my last video, you saw me making the custom collage papers out of tissue and stamps. Today I'm going to use one of those pieces and finish this Dilusions journal. I only have one more page and the fact flyleaf left, so come on along and I'll show you how I use that paper. Okay, this is the very last page. This is actually the flyleaf and I was experimenting with some glimmer mist sprays when I first got them on this back flyleaf so that already has some color on it. So I think I'm just going to try and get something similar. I'm not going to pull out a stencil or anything. I'm just going to get some similar color over here. I'll probably look for those same glimmer mists. And then I'm going to only because this one is very close to the size of both of these pages. I'm going to use this one as my background. So let me see, what do I have? Um, I need pink and blue and... Okay, I'll be okay. back. I think I found the three colors that I used originally. I'm gonna, I have my antique Dory Bible under here just to prop this book up because it's so lopsided because of how full it is. I really don't want sprays on it. So can we see? Yes. So I think these are the colors. That I had over here. And so I'm just going to randomly get some of those same colors down because they will show through. They will show through my paper, my tissue. But I honestly don't think we're going to see much of a pattern from either sh either side, whether it's got, come on, stencil or not on it. So, I'm just doing this. And I think that's fine. Close enough. Oh, this was just acrylic paint, water, and alcohol that I put in these Soho spritz bottles just to make my own acrylic spray. The other two were um, Tattered Angel Glimmer Mists. The blue is True Turquoise, which doesn't look turquoise at all. It's really blue. And this one is Rose Gold. Okay, so I'm going to dry this and then we'll get the paper down. And I know you're probably thinking, is she lost her mind? This is steampunk and you've got glimmer mist and pink and blue and we'll fix that. And the only reason that I did that is because this was already here. So just step one, one layer. Okay, my original thought was to use this Distress Oxide Spray in vintage photo after I put this paper down but I'm gonna do it before because this is gonna stay water soluble and I don't feel like dealing with that I want to be able to go on top of it right away so we're just gonna now get rid of this <laughs> and get it darkened up Because steampunk. I'm 
I know it's ugly, but it's going under the paper, so all good. Now what I'm hoping is, I'm going to dry this, but what I'm hoping is that the lightness of the tissue will just kind of melt in and this background color will show through. Okay, I'm just going to put matte medium down and this will probably lift and change colors because it's a distress oxide. But that's okay because it's going to be underneath and I'm just going to Get it just down on this side first. And try and line this up as best I can. Over here, we'll probably have to do some trimming. And I do want some wrinkles, so. I'm not going to be super careful about how it gets laid down. Yeah, see, you can see the color coming through when I go over top of it with more matte medium. And it should just kind of melt away that white paper and just show me the color that's coming through from the background. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. And if it is a bit modely, that's fine with me. There's some spots where it's just either doesn't have as much matte medium underneath or it's just not making as good a contact. And just push those spots down with my finger a little bit. I do you guys you know I always just end up with my fingers in it All right it just happens okay I think that's as good as we're gonna get Let's see if I ha already had this tissue paper done and in my stash it would just make this background so fast and easy to do. It would just be a matter of grabbing it and putting it over top of whatever color I laid down on the page. And boom, done. And I'll trim that when I'm done drying it off. Okay, I chose some papers that I want to put down here. So my next layer will be my collage layer. And I'm just going to go ahead and get these all glued down and dried. And then I will be back. Okay, my papers are all down dry. So this was an image that I um, printed onto an old book page just from my inkjet printer. This one is from a really old, I think it's German, book. This was a piece of old newspaper, some Tim Holtz images in ephemera. This was a little piece that I just put together on a piece of cardstock with a lot of little pieces of 
bits and bobs that were laying on my desk and then sewed around the edges. But I just want to bring these colors together a little bit more so I'm going to use Archival Ink in Sepia because it's, um, it's permanent once it's dry. So we won't have to worry about He's a little too gray, so we're going to get him more in line with colors, too. It's kind of sticking. I used glue, and it's it's okay. I don't care, but that's why it's getting kind of modely and stuck. Glue as opposed to matte medium, I mean. So that's why it's just kind of sticking in weird places. The rest of this I put down with matte medium so the ink is going on a lot smoother. Okay, everybody is colorized and glued and I thought about using the Stabilo but I think I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to fly spec some black on the page just to add to the aginess. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to dry it and I'm going to call it done. Clean up all the mess. I just made splattering black paint everywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, that is one dilution journal in the books. The end. The very end. This was a fun one to do took me, let's see, when did I start it? Probably didn't write it down. <clears throat> August of 18. So, and I d didn't work in this one exclusively. Let me flip through really fast. I know you guys have seen a lot of these already. I'm just going to go real quick since we filled it up. I'm happy. So many, I love this one. I put find, found, find Your Tribe. I like it. It's brighter than I usually do. But just a real variety of pages and techniques and fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. So, I think I told you I have, my daughter bought me a brand new one for Christmas. So, I will be all set to start the new year with a new journal. I like this page too. It says, all the rules have changed. Talk less, listen more. I like this one too. And this one. Some I really, really like. Other ones, I love this one. Other ones, yeah, they're okay. A lot of experimentation. Like here, I experimented with background and hot glue. I like this one too. This was the background I did with the 
cold wax and alcohol ink. And I love the way that the color of it came out. Most of these, there are videos on almost all of these. A lot of them. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching my very last spread in this journal. I'm going to... Oh, and I know I've mentioned it before, but I'm just going to mention it again because so many of you do art journaling and use a lot of mixed media um, products, glues, and inks and whatnot. Some of the stuff stays a little sticky and depending on your climate and your humidity it all plays a factor into whether or not those pages are going to stick together. So I will leave this to dry overnight but then I use Daddy Vans Unscented Beeswax. It's furniture polish but it's just unscented beeswax. It's very soft. Um, it is non-toxic, chemical-free, beeswax, carnauba wax, and olive oil. So it's totally safe to use on your journal pages. A very little bit goes a long way. Actually, I can do it on this page and I'll just show you because that page is dry and has not been waxed. But it really, really does prevent... I just... just like that much... And you can see it brings the color up too a bit, which I don't mind. It just, it deepens the color, especially if you're using matte medium, which has a tendency to dull your colors a little bit. It doesn't make your pages like super shiny or glossy, but it does help just kind of deepen the colors and bring them up a bit. So basically four little swipes across the top of that can is all I needed to cover these pages. I mean that little can is going to last forever. And then you're just going to wait, I don't know, maybe five minutes at the most. doesn't take very long. Um, you just want it to sit and penetrate for just a little bit and then take another paper towel or a microfiber cloth, something soft and just lightly buff it up and those pages are not going to stick together. And if you remember or if you saw my video the other day where I was showing you faces, I did not, I didn't think I needed it on these pages and you see what happened. They stuck together and it pulled the paint up. Matter of fact, I'm going to put some on here, as long as it's open, I'll put some on here and then that won't happen again. You'll see the difference, especially on this page, it's quite flat looking as far as the colors go. I think you'll be able to tell how it just, it just enhances the color just a bit, but I thought about trying to fix it, but I think it would just make it worse. And it's a journal. It's not like it's hanging on my wall or anything. So, you know, it is what it is. It happens. But yeah, usually before I start my next two-page spread, I just go back to the last one I did and put the wax on it. And I just leave my book open to the two-page spread that needs to be waxed so that I remember. It dries really good. I remember because it's open and put the wax on and wax off and you're ready to go on to the next page. So you just buff it up a bit. So that's my tip for today. Um, I get the Daddy Vans on Amazon. It's not very expensive. Well, I'm going to 10 bucks maybe around in there. It's really good for your furniture too if, if you'd like to wax your furniture. So that's it, kids. I don't know if I'll be doing another video before the end of the year. If I don't see you before then, have a fabulous Christmas. 
Have a wonderful new year. Be safe out there because there's a lot of crazies. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye. Love y'all.